In November of 2006, a spacecraft called Goddard lifted off from a launch site in Texas. From ascent to landing, less than 30 seconds. In the world of space flight, not a big deal, but it was an enormous milestone for Blue Origin. Six years earlier, the aerospace company was founded by the wealthiest man in the world, Amazon's Jeff Bezos. For me, space is something that I have been in love with for, you know, well, since I was five years old. And uh, I watched Neil Armstrong step onto the surface of the moon and I guess it imprinted me. For Bezos and Blue, as the company is commonly known, the motto is step-by-step step, ferociously. Goddard, a developmental vehicle, was step one. The next step was New Shepard, a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Command start. New Shepard has flown nearly a dozen suborbital test flights and landings since 2015. It's all about practice, Bezos says, and they have to get it perfect. Two years ago, New Shepard flew with a new crew capsule and a mannequin on board. Eventually, the 60-foot booster with a capsule on top will carry six real people, paying space tourists on 11-minute flights just into the reaches of space. And parachutes come? Parachutes will deploy, bringing the capsule to a gentle rest in the Texas desert, while the reusable booster touches down nearby. The company has not yet released the price for a ticket to ride, but it's believed to be in the neighborhood of $250,000 per seat. Bezos is not stopping with New Shepard. Remember, it's step by step. Here it is. And the next step was announced in 2015 at Cape Canaveral's Launch Complex 36. We're not just launching from here. We're building here. At Exploration Park, we'll have a 21st century production facility where we'll focus on manufacturing our reusable fleet of orbital launchers and readying them for flight. Two years into the facility's construction, Bezos, not someone anyone considers a showman, posted on Instagram a video of himself on the roof holding a sign, Rocket Factory coming soon. Blue Origin's massive plant will, in the next two years, begin turning out the new Glenn rocket. It's big, nearly as big as the old Saturn V moon rockets, with the capability to lift payloads and astronauts into Earth orbit and beyond. Its first stage, designed to be reused 25 times. In 2021, the first flight is expected from Launchpad 36. All of this is part of Bezos' vision, his hope for planet Earth. We get to preserve this unique gem of a planet, which is completely irreplaceable. There is no plan B. We have to save this planet. At a recent event, Bezos talked of his belief that humans must and will one day live in enormous space colonies. Each will be home to a million people or more. Here's the International Space Station for scale. This is a very different kind of space colony. Let's take a look at what they might look like inside. The artist's renderings show high-speed transportation, agriculture areas. Some might be designated national parks. All the heavy manufacturing and pollution damaging Earth's environment would be done off the planet. Clearly, that is decades, if not centuries away. Baby steps first. It's time to go back to the moon, this time to stay. And Blue Origin intends to be a key player in lunar missions. Let me show you something.
This is Blue Moon. We've been working on this lander for three years. It's a very large lander. It'll soft land in precise way, 3.6 metric tons onto the lunar surface. Blue is now teaming up with Draper, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman to build the landing and descent vehicles. The belief is they can deliver on what seems to be an impossible goal of putting astronauts back on the moon in 2024. For Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin, it's another step in the journey. John Zarella for My Radar. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.